So imagine you're doing a macOS update on an unsupported Mac, but it remains like this. So what happened? I had macOS 14.0 on that iMac up and running with OpenCore Legacy Patcher, everything was fine. Then I installed the update to macOS 14.1, but every update just get rid of every root patch. Just a little explanation, we have two parts of the OpenCore Legacy Patcher. One is OpenCore, that is the bootloader that just enables booting an unsupported Mac. The other half are the missing drivers because Apple just gets rid of all the old drivers from hardware it doesn't support anymore. So like Wi-Fi, USB, Bluetooth, drivers for graphic cards and so on. And so the other half of the OpenCore Legacy Patcher is just a root patch to just reintegrate the missing drivers into the new macOS so that you have graphic acceleration and you can use your Wi-Fi, Bluetooth and USB. And during that root patch and after the reboot, it just gets stuck on the Apple logo. There's no progress bar and that is a kernel panic. So something's not right with that Mac OS right now. So what was the reason for that? The reason is that to install the root patch, we need a KDK from Apple to install those drivers, those patches into Mac OS. And the KDK just gets updated as macOS gets updated. So you need the KDK that fits to macOS 14.1. But after the update, my iMac just had no Wi-Fi, so no internet connection. And so the OpenCore Legacy Patcher tried to install the root patch, but had no internet connection, so no KDK for version 14.1. So it just used the last backup it found that was somewhere close to the one that it's needed, but it was for 14.0. That was the problem. Using an old KDK with a root patch on a new Mac OS 14.1 ends up like this. So the solution, first we try to get into Mac OS again, to boot it again. And that will be when we use the latest working version, like a backup, um, from 14.1 without the root patch. So we should try to get this booted and we can get into Mac OS. And then we have two options because we need the latest KDK. So either we can connect this iMac here or your Mac as well via an Ethernet cable and Ethernet maybe works with the drivers that are already in Mac OS and you can establish internet connection. So then you can just do the root patch and it will download the latest KDK that fits to 14.1 and so everything's fine. If not, we have to download the KDK from another Mac or another Windows PC, whatever, copy it onto that Mac and then we can install the root patch and then everything should be fine. So let's start and try to get this thing booted. Let's go. Keep the Alt or Option key pressed so you will get into the Apple boot selector. Right now you see EFI boot and the both macOS volumes that I have that might be a little bit different on your Mac. If you keep now the control key pressed you see the icon changes into a circle and you will set this as standard boot option. And we select EFI boot. And now this is the open core boot selector and if you now press the spacebar you will see all the hidden other options for open core and we now choose the Sonoma logo that says recovery 14.1 so now we just select the language and we are at the recovery menu so now at first we go to the disk utility Say continue and now comes one important step. So for instance Mr. Macintosh also had in one of his latest videos shown this procedure but it fails for some reason and that is because you don't have the exact volume identifier. 
Here on my iMac, let me show you where there's a difference between the name Sonoma that is shown in the disk utility and the real volume identifier that you need to work with in the terminal just later on. So we go to Sonoma volumes, whichever the name of your volume is, mine is Sonoma, and we click on info. And if I just enlarge this a little bit, up here in the fourth row you see the name mount point and there you see forward slash volumes forward slash sonoma space one that is the name that we need in the next step for the terminal command so just write that down whichever the name of your mount point is for your hard disk so we can close the info, close the disk utility, and then we go to utilities terminal. And at first we have to mount that volume to be able to uh, work with it. And so we say mount space dash uw space parenthesis and then we need the name that we just got. So forward slash volumes, forward slash Sonoma space one and parenthesis. And now we say return and it's mounted. The next is we have to bless that volume. So that means for macOS, just boot from that volume next time you reboot. So we say bless space two dashes mount space parenthesis the same as above volumes forward slash so no more one parenthesis space dash boot efi space two dashes last sealed dash snapshot that's a lot of text. I give you all the info down in the video description as well. You just have to change the part in the parenthesis. If we now do return, no error message, that is good. So we blast that. Now we can just close the terminal and say, click the apple and say restart. Then it should boot the open core with the EFI boot there is Sonoma and there you see there is a progress bar so we did it we just booted the last version of macOS Sonoma without the root patches so we made it we are back in the macOS but obviously without the root patches okay right now the open core legacy patcher just already popped up and say okay uh, we are detected you're running without root patches don't okay don't click ok because otherwise it will all start all over, over again so we just say cancel and what we now have to do two options either we can connect your mac to internet like with ethernet or like any other option where it has internet connection make sure you go into the safari and test if you really have internet connection then do the root patch if that doesn't work and that's the way I'd like to show you because it's a little bit more complicated how to manually download the KDK to copy it onto your machine and then do the root patch that it has the latest KDK without internet connection because you see there's no Wi-Fi logo up there. It doesn't have any Wi-Fi, any internet connection. So what we need to do right now is download the correct KDK on any other Mac or PC and just put it on a USB drive so we can just copy it onto the Mac that we are now working with. Okay, let me just put the USB drive in and I give you the link down in the video description where you get to the repository of Dortania with the KDK support packages. And you see here, there's a lot of technical stuff. We just need to go on the lower right corner to releases. And there we need 
to scroll down a little bit to the kernel debug kit 14.1 or whichever fits the macOS version you just updated to. If you will update to 14.2, you obviously have to download the KDK 14.2. Right now it's 14.1, so let's go here to kernel debug kit 14.1 to assets and there's a DMG file that has 643 megabytes and we will start to download that and then put it on a USB drive, plug the USB drive into the iMac and first just copy it to the downloads folder. So here we are and we just do a double click onto the kernel debug kit 14.1 DMG file. There is a PKG, a package file in there. We just do a double click here and it said you will be guided through the steps necessary to install this software. We say continue, continue, we continue with the license agreement, say agree, and it says it will take about 3.3 gigabytes of space. You can just check the install location and choose your volume, Sonoma in this case, continue, and we say install, we enter the password, and it will install those 3.3 gigabytes right now. Okay, the installation was successful. We say close. Better keep that KDK, don't move it to trash. We can close this and then we can just start the open core legacy patcher. We say post install root patch. It finds some patches. We say start root patching. Yes, reload as root. Enter the password. And there we go. And Right now down here you can say that the KDK is already installed, KDK 14.1. Skipping, skipping means it doesn't look online for other KDKs or for a download of KDK. So let's just wait until it finishes all the installation. And now we can say reboot and restart the Mac and let's check if it just now boots with all the drivers installed. And there we go in Sonoma and when we now for instance use the launch pad you can see everything is quite smooth and the graphic acceleration is working. There it is, the iMac 2011 up and running with macOS Sonoma 14.1. You can just use that procedure for every Mac that gets stuck during boot and basically you can identify it because there's no progress bar at all. There's a kernel panic right at the beginning because the KDK version does not match the macOS version. But you can avoid it. So if you have an update, at first wait with the updates. Just subscribe my channel for news and I will give you a thumbs up if the upgrade or the update of macOS is safe to install. If there is a new open core legacy patcher that is required for that macOS. For instance 14.1 there was the open core legacy patcher 1.1. Other than that just give me your feedback, your experience in the comments. Maybe join our discord channel uh, that is also down in the video descriptions and the first comment is uh, pinned with the link for the discord channel. We have, I think, about 350 users just on the Discord, so we can start helping each other if there are problems. I will just join regularly to answer some questions there, or just give me a question or your problem in the video comment, and I'll try to answer that as well. Other than that, thank you for watching. Have fun here on my channel. Don't forget to subscribe. See you soon. Bye-bye.